All right, so this is day number two. Well, not day number two, but this is the second time we do this. Basically, if you guys still don't know, you will get a free pack every single day. Just head over to, you know, the programs, go to the uh, time, and go to August. You should be getting a free pack. We have our free, oh, we have a free pack right here. Let's see what we get, man. If it's anything in the high sets, we should be getting some set ten. Uh, there should be a diamond right here. It should be a diamond. Alright, so back to the Cincinnati Reds franchise. Uh it's been going pretty good. It's actually been going really, really well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So uh Um a lot has been made. Well a lot of progression has been made into the season. We're starting to look like you know, we're starting to look like an actual threat out here, bros. We are starting to look like actual threats and um I like it. I like it. So last episode we did pick up uh if you guys didn't know we picked up the main man Dan's B Swanson. The absolute goat himself, man. We picked him up. And our lineup's looking right, man. Lineup is looking right. I did say last episode that I would like to trade for a catcher. And that is exactly what we're going to try to do today. So let's see. Tugger Barnard, Devin Mezarock, uh Tugger Barnard. Let's see what we can get from, alright? So you guys know how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm, I'm going to dip out for a little bit and I'll be right back, all right? Just give me a few. I'm going to try to have the best trade possible. Well, from what it's looking like, my friends, it looks like we have one of the best catchers because there's no good catcher in the league right now. I mean, there is a few catchers, but they're out of our range to get. So I think we're just going to stick with Tucker on this one and we're just going to have to continue to move forward with it. But let's go ahead and turn on a critical situation, see what we get. And there we go. We're going right here. So we are up six zip against the Marlins. And uh, basically, it's time for us to uh, to finish off the game. Manea has a shutout going late in the game. So, let's try to get this done. Let's do it. All right, here we go. So, it's our duty. <laughs> duty. It's our duty to uh, make sure we get out of this inning alive. We got Isan. I believe this is Ronald Torres. The Marlins, man. The Marlins got Isan Diaz. Who's that? Who, who's on base? Isan Diaz. I don't know who Landers is. And Ronald Torres. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take a little bit of note of that, Jeter. Right, come on. Oh man, I haven't I haven't pitched or done anything in this game for a while, man. Let me show you this down. Let me go. Alright. Minute. Oh, that's gonna be a pop up right there. Beautiful folks. We get that done right there. We make it pop up. Folks, Sean Manet has been we have I think we have four clear aces in our rotation. Four clear as day aces, man. These guys to me are one of the best in the league. We got uh oh they want us to close they want us to close out the game. Okay, they got Adam Lynn in the Martins. Hmm, that would be a pretty good deal. Ooh, way to paint the corner. I hear be I, I you're out here looking like Bob Ross, brother. Come on. Gotta paint more of the corner. Beautiful. Put it up top. Now we'll get him with that change up low. Come on. I know you got it in, your brother. Oh, damn. What the hell was that? I've never seen that animation by, by a catcher. But high fastball. Oh, I should never do that high. Oh, that's going to possibly gonna going to be crushed. I'm lying to you guys. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's get it done. All right. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Brian Anderson? I'm pretty sure he's having himself a stellar year. As a matter of fact, let's check his batting average. What's he batting? 230. Uh, okay. That's not how he is in real life. Trust me, that's not how he is in real life. Come on. Here we go. Prat. Good change up down the middle. Throw my high heater up here. I don't think he should swing at this one. Wow. Thank you. I will just throw him a slider out right here. Oh, that's going to paint the corner beautifully. Folks, that is game right there. Thank you guys for watching this. Up. Oops. I guess not. Uh, I'm sorry, Anderson. Sheesh, I thought it was over. I thought it was over. I was already saying the outro for for the game. The man just slaps the op freaking oppo single. Like, come on. All right, got him on that two-strike count. Two-strike count. We already in the 100 pitches with Sean Manea. And his energy has, I guess his energy has not been affecting too much. I'm still locating pretty 
good right there. That's gonna be a pop up right there. That's gonna be a pop up, folks. And that's oh, that's two outs. Never mind. I'm sorry. Oop, shut up. Come on. Come on. Sean Manea. Man, I like in real life. This guy is actually not bad too. He's actually. I mean, he he could definitely be a potential future star. Definitely a future star in my opinion. All right, he's locating. He's doing his job. He is definitely doing his job. You see, now he's starting to get tired at the 103 pitch mark. Um, I don't blame him. Oh, that's gonna be a single. Wow. Okay. All right. Maybe uh, maybe we should start getting so you know some. I mean, I doubt they'll come. I I, I doubt the Mars will score seven on us. To be honest with you, I really I highly doubt it. But uh, that's never nothing you want to test out. You know, you get me. Just want to get out of this inning alive. But I know with one out left, I'm not really gonna put anybody in the bullpen. I know Mane can get this done, man. One out. That's what I'm talking about right there, folks. That's gonna be the game, folks. We complete this critical situation. We get it done. We win it. And it's looking good for us, man. It's looking really, really good for us. We win this commandingly. Seven zip. Um, pretty, pretty good game by us. Uh, Machado went off. Basically, a whole lot of people um, contributed to this. And uh, Sean Manea, nine innings, only allowing six hits with three strikeouts. This guy has been amazing for us. I'm happy to have him. Jose Peraza wants to play the game, which he gets two RBIs, a home run, and I believe that was a double, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, team is rolling out well. Rolling, rolling out well. Uh, before, the trade, line, the trade deadline is approaching, and I'm trying to see it. If they we do a trade of some sort, and uh, it's looking likely that I'm not gonna do a trade. I'm gonna keep it the way this is right here. I'm gonna keep the core together. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep the core together. So I'm not gonna be afraid with simulating too far into this. And uh, 65 42 is gonna simulate over to the 10th right here. And folks, we are on a winning streak right now. As I say that we lose two. Okay, come on. All right, so we're 73 and 46. Let's take a look at that. That puts us at our commanding first place, which means we are going to be seeing some playoff baseball this year. We're going to be seeing some playoff baseball. Uh, I would hope we are. It's six games. We're six games ahead. We cannot get to, you know, we can't say anything. Anything says stone already. It's not. Anything can happen. But um, let's see. What did we get? Uh, oh, yeah, we traded 100 green to Atlanta for Dansby. I remember that. Uh, we can't say anything is set in stone already uh, because you never really know what happens. But, you know, when you, you know, when you're 73 and 46, you're looking pretty comfortable. You're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. You feel me? So, it's going to simulate just a little bit. Oh, shoot. Simulate just a little bit over right to here. Uh, next episode might be some playoff baseball. Not sure 78 and 50. That changed absolutely anything. All right, the Cubs are four and a half games back behind us. Cubs are starting to make some ground on us. But um, in regards to the wild card, we're not even in the wild card because we're we we I mean we're too high. You know we're too high. 78 and 50 is looking uh, is looking likely that we might make it, but it's gonna be a close race. So simulated once again just a little bit. Ooh, that definitely does not help. That definitely does not help. The Cubs are three and a half games back. But, folks, this is where we are going to call it. We are making good, good uh, progression towards it. Let's see. Let's check the rotation before we actually head out. 12 and 7 with a 2.72 by Gary Cole. Stroman stats right here. I'm going to go through it slowly just so I don't have to say anything here. And I'm happy. I'm really happy with this. I'm happy with what's going on. I'm happy with the players that we've, you know, that we picked up. And everything, man. Hunter Cole, da, da, da. some few guys getting injured. Not nothing, nothing too crazy. Oh no! Wait, what? No wonder it's doing the auto. Sh wow, that's actually quite annoying. I had it on auto because because usually whenever I do the fantasy draft, I always put it on auto for everything. So it kind of does it for this one, which is kind of annoying. But that's gonna be episode right there, folks. If you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to leave a like down below. Please make sure to comment. What you guys think of the series so far? And tell me how far do you think we're going to get into the season? Let me know. And also, folks, please make sure to hit that subscribe button once before you guys head out, man. I really do appreciate it. We've been on that grind for so long, man. On that grind. And uh, we're still on the road to 1K, man. Still on the road to 1K. So, it's going to be it, folks. It's been your boy, Rezzy. And I will see you guys in the next one. And peace.
When I pull up, you can't see this Too many bitches just wanna be my lady Talking much, shut up